What's going on everyone? Biz back with another Division 2 video. I know I said I'd start covering Outriders, but lately I've been having too much fun playing PvP, and specifically Conflict. While I am going to cover that in my next video, last time we were all here, I said that I'd have another conversation for another day regarding exotics. As we all know, Division 2 is due for new content that is going to increase build variety and viability at some point this year. While we don't know what it is, we could take some time and speculate until we get clarification. In this video, we're going to go over my speculation on the future of exotics for when we get the new update. As always, thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you're new here and you like what you see, please like and subscribe for all things biz. You guys are a big part of what I do here, and thanks for the support. It really means a lot. Also, leave a comment below to join the exotic discussion. Let me know what your favorite exotic is in the Division franchise, and why. While you chew on that, let's get down to it. So Division 2 really stepped up the exotic game for this franchise, both in looks and overall usefulness of the items. From the non-stop RPM of the Chatterbox all the way to the Raid Locked Eagle Bearer, these items make the meta for a reason. One thing I miss when comparing Division 1 and 2, though, are the options to equip mods on the exotic guns. While I understand the exotics do come with mods that really lean into what the exotic is going to do, the ability to mod could very well be an easy way to add content in year 3 without doing too much. Take Destiny, for example. In the Warmind expansion of Destiny 2, we were introduced to catalysts for exotic weapons. These catalysts would improve stats or change bonuses on an exotic weapon, thus making it better. Catalysts are usually hard to acquire too, as you had to complete quests to unlock them. Keeping that example in mind, let's plug this catalyst idea into a couple existing weapons. Starting with the one that started this idea, we unpack the Lady Death. Now I've said time and time again, the magazine size is a big opportunity with this SMG. With this in mind, maybe the exotic mod could be a drum magazine with plus 20 rounds. Keeping the quest tied to Woni, where we got the gun, we see the quest as completing all Woni missions in New York and control points flawlessly. Another great example would be the Eagle Bearer. I've always wondered why this weapon has no scope. How am I supposed to liberate all of the Northeast Corridor with iron sights? With this exotic component, we could see the optics rail get an upgrade from 10% critical hit chance to 15, and a scope that can focus in. The quest could be something that brings people back to dark hours, like collecting the pieces from each boss, and then maybe you do the invaded missions on Heroic to unlock the blueprint. The final example I'll use will be the Sweet Dreams. Now, I didn't realize this before making this video, but the Sweet Dreams, an exotic shotgun, has an underbarrel mod that gives you 25% optimal range. Optimal range. Let that sink in. I'm, I'm going to wait a sec. Okay, so now that we've left that vibe back in 2020, we can make a quest that gives you an underbarrel mod that grants maybe 200% melee damage, so you can still hit things without the Sandman debuff and still feel powerful. For this to unlock, maybe add a loot box in the Owl Room on Roosevelt Island and give people a reason to go check that out, because that's really cool. Could this Catalyst model be something we see in Year 3? It is possible, as it would drive agent progress in a positive direction. Not to mention, having an option to swap out an exotic mod could further expand build variety and viability. This would also bring the player base back, as there would be some new things to grind for without having to purge all of your existing gear. I have a few more ideas in the chamber for exotic mods, but let me know what you think below and what exotic mods you would do if Yannick gave you the keys to the castle. And that's gonna wrap things up here. I hope this video got you guys thinking and looking forward to the future. In the meantime, explore other games and challenge yourself to do something new. Never in this game cycle did I think I was even going to touch conflict, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and maybe you will too. I'll tell you all about that next time though. Biz out.